Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Oh, uh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Can y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, it's been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Go down the coast. The facility's a few clicks south of us. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities? A joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes! So, you got 
Got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard fund funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. Born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bankrupt. Robert, your job is to keep this covert and non lethal as long as you can. I got some walls. Quick. Move it. Hands where I can see them. Drop their piece. Identify yourself! Void his bowels, bank robber! Okay! Now hit the elevator! So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it! Elevator's coming down. Someone's on board! Out! Out! Ugh. Grab the card! Now! Up! How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. We're fine. Move on. Two lab geeks. Gotta deal with them. <laughs> we gotta keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. This is them. Take them out or let them go. I dare you. Just a little pinprick. What can a pinprick do? 
Ask the monkey. Go on. A tiny amount on your hand. Okay, we're clear. Swipe us in. Come on. Exit. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Give us access. What's going on? Door can only be triggered internally. Wait, someone's coming. I'm on it. You, hands up. Back up. Back up. And freeze. We get collateral. You want to see his very large brain smear on the glass? Open up. The special agents have the door. Go in there and secure our nerve agent. Over there, now! This'll make me the most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh, man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security uh. alert. Facility breached. Uh. You got the... Uh. Right weapon? The shit's about to get real. Sex detail, fair. Uh. Uh. Down. Uh. Oh my god, Help! Uh. Do it, let's go! You fucking idiot! We gotta go! We gotta go! Another guard! Four fast.
HUD team's already in the building! It's never too late! We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, uh, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me! And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on! Let's go! Special agent, I got discovered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you, I just took a bullet from my country! Go, go, go! Pull us up! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Ah, well, maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight! Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, but made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. Chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. Wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. For some reason. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. She treat you! I know. I know.
No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends. Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Miss you already. That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah. 
Floyd! Will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh. Who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got... you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The condo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. So this is where Floyd is going to meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Amigo, prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Hello. IT guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me.
Mr. DeSant, good to see you. It's cool. Gotta give you yeah, some push I thought ride so. Tripping on these fools. Why the devils eat a big dick? Cock and fly, sex, strip clubs, objectify women. But you ain't objects. You're people. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. General vibe. All right. Didn't even get to leave the office for two minutes today. Were you supposed to? That doesn't look like much. Ago? Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Traffic clap, clap. What are you talking about, home. Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. We don't it's have a standard bank. It's getting underground. That's hard. Ain't that where the metals kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor be, eh? Ah, uh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, white again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obvious. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fuck! Shit! 
I was gonna pay you, man, and there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! They, they 
might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on, and then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA, and your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk. All right? Just later. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. 